Right. Behind me, we have two of the brand new model pickups that are available on the market today. On this side, we have the brand new model VW Amarok. This particular one is a V6 4 motion in the style specification in a beautiful metallic bright blue. 23 registration, like a lot of my cars here at Ackland Car Centre, with only pre delivery mileage. On this side, we have the brand new model Ford Wild Track, what you call the Ford Ranger. Again, a cracking pickup. Brand new model with the new headlights. 23 registration, again delivery miles. This particular one is a 2 litre bi turbo all wheel drive. Now, the reason I've got them both parked behind me is they both do very similar things. They're both pickups, they're both four wheel drives, diesels. Yes, that's a 3 litre V6 and that's a 2 litre, but you can get a 3 litre version. But I just wanted to see what your take was on the way the styling is. Is it just a pickup or a bit more than just a workhorse? Because I think they're very family friendly, they're up to date, they're modern, they look absolutely awesome both of them if i was a, a buyer of one of these type of cars and i come across this with the styling of either or i just think they're a wonderful thing and they do such a great job remember the ground clearance on both of them you've got all the led styling with the headlights front and rear the huge grills big bumpers all color coded fog lights front rear parking sensors yes they will have a little bit of separate specification like this one's got the 360 camera system you can get that on the Ford, by the way, with the extra pack. But then you've got upgraded wheels. Now, this one's got the premium pack on, which gives you the 20-inch diamond cut wheels and a few of the extras on the inside. But all the colour-coded arches, I just think they're brilliant. But come this way, let me show you something else quickly, because in the back, if you're buying a pickup, there's a good chance you're going to have great use for this. Now, that might be once you put a, a snug top on the back, like a carry boy or a slider, do what you want, because you can fit so much to them. The first thing I noticed on both of them is how light the tailgate is. This is brilliant, and I mean, when I say light, it's one finger, like, it's that light, and that's good, because you don't want to really be struggling. This particular one has a ruler on the back, so if you are going to use this chopping wood or whatever it is, measuring stuff in general, nice. Massive, this is a good space, because like I said, if you're getting one, it's because you're going to use it more than likely, so you want as much space as possible. There's the LED lighting system, and that's this one. You've then got the chrome bar, which comes all the way across. This one also has the bars in the rear, but then you've got the railing, which you can tie things down to. You've then got the step on this one. Now, is that useful? Maybe to you, so you can climb onto it and get into the back and tie things over. Same again with the back, you've got Big space. Now this one has been lined already, bed lined, but you can do that on the, on the Amarok as well. So for me, the space in both of them are really good. It's a difficult one to choose between the two. If there were direct comparisons, as in two 3 litre diesels, then it would be extremely difficult. Have a look inside this one first. So the first thing you notice on the new pickups, like a lot of new cars, they, are, they all go down the same, same path really. So you've got a digital dash, that's the first thing that you see, which is nice, up to date, modern. But then you have this long gated screen here, which does everything from media, navigation, onboard computer, even the climate, and then the heated steering wheel and the heated seats. All the settings like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's all there. But then as a driver, you've got this very nice, very rich, leather wrapped with the wild track orange stitching, multifunction steering wheel with cruise control, lane assist. All the adaptions are there so you can go in and out and up and down. Glasses case holder, because every guy wants to put his glasses there. Automatic gearbox, cup holders, the different drive modes are available just below. It's a good seating position, lots of visibility, no blind spots, and this is, this is great. Great sound to the engine, great returns on miles per gallon. It's a brand new model pickup. Before I go to this one, I've a look in the back here quickly. So you've got three seats in the back, centre armrest comes down, three point seat belts, ice attachments and USBs. Fully fitted mat, cracking car, does a brilliant job. Go this side. Very similar. Now, the first thing I noticed, I'm just going to say this out loud with a VW, I think these seats are slightly better. They just feel a little bit more luxurious. You've got full leather seats with the twin colours. You've then got this lovely, it's not wood, it's not, it's here as well. It's an interior fascia, but it's got a nice posh look to it. The leather continues on the door cards. Also, the top dash, and this is nice and soft, but then you have that same long gated dash here, which does the same as a Ford, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, heated seats. Then you've got some little switches down here for the different drive modes. The short shifter gear stick, and like the Ford Ranger, you have the 4 high, 2 high, 4 low, and the automatic version. 
centre armrest which lifts up more cubby hole space and the full digital dash and a bit like the Ford again very nice soft leather on the steering wheel with the flat bottom steering wheel and you have got cruise control Bluetooth and the rest on there as for the back same again three point seat belts lots of space fully fitted mats now these two cars are physically available look at the back of this you put your phones in there or your iPads do what you want nice little touches but they're not just a workhorse anymore the fabulous motors tow bars if you need them side steps for me aesthetically they both look stunning it's a case of which one do you think is better don't get me wrong in the right color with the right spec I'm sure they all are absolutely amazing but for me the brand new pickups are no longer just a pickup they're very nice they're expensive but they do a cracking job now this two that I've got behind me, they're physical, they're available. So if you like what you see, go on our website, Acklam Car Centre. There is others available as well. My name's Joe, thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.